the controversy over contingent Assault conditions on contingency Attorney General Spitzer going after some the in the industry. industry has corruption that is right. The Spitzer fallout of the whole Spitzer issue. Right. Some fraud going on. We're in an industry, industry that's not very popular with This consumers. is perceived as a reward for selling a policy to a customer. The mandatory disclosures Does it create some law? potential for conflict of interest? Yes, of course. My point of view is, is that's wrong. That's a conflict of interest. For us, it's about clients. Everything we're doing in this company should be about bringing value to clients. Welcome back. Insurance brokers hired today on Wall Street after regulators say it would lift a ban on insurer pay fees known as contingent commission. Oops. Dismantles a pact put in place into one of the three largest brokers. It will says. continue to steer clear of contingent commissions altogether. I think in issues of disclosure, transparency, trust, you don't do what a regulator tells you, you do what's right. And I just don't think it's right. My company's never thought it was right. Good for you, Joe. Now is not the time to make these things legal. Now's the time to actually broaden the debate, put the debate on the table, and say, does this really make people trust you because you, you do things like this? There is a clear conflict between what a contingent, profit-based contingent incentivizes me to do and what my clients pay me to do. You first got to ask yourself the question, who do you represent? In 2004, we made the conscious decision to walk away from accepting contingent commissions. The great companies of the world um, instinctively do what they do because they care. They really and truly care. I think a lot of people don't understand what contingents are, and I think education um, it changes a lot of people. People need to understand exactly how these things get paid. They get paid on the basis of us as a broker driving higher premium volumes and lower claim payouts within a carrier. When we do that, we get a bigger check. If I am steering business to a carrier who um, is not in my client's best interest, either because of price or terms, or because they don't pay claims fast or they don't deliver policies quickly, that doesn't seem to be the right thing to do. That's a conflict of interest. In the second master, you can't have two people paying you. If I've got somebody paying me 50000 here and somebody paying me 50000 here, who do I work for? We want our clients to know we work for them and only them, and there is no second master. Because somebody tells you it's legal, um, there's a lot of things that you know in life are legal, but inside your gut hurts, and it tells you you shouldn't do that. And in the case of our clients, not taking contingent commissions is the right thing to do, and that'll be our guiding force going forward. We just think it's the right way to conduct business. In our business, when you deal with a client, they have to have a high level of trust that you have their interests at the forefront. The insurance industry has a responsibility because the communities that we serve all over the world uh, look to us to rebuild lives, to rebuild buildings, to rebuild communities. And when you're being paid by a second master, and being paid, frankly, rather significantly by a second master, it erodes that trust. We want our clients, above all, to trust us, and that means to be transparent uh, and to do the things that represent the integrity that we stand for. What is transparency? People throw the word around in the industry and frankly are very casual about using transparency. For us it's three things. Transparency is about who pays you. Does the client pay you? Does somebody else pay you? In this case the carrier. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. You tell me what you expect of me. I'll tell you what I expect of you. And transparently we're going to lay all that out and then on top of that I'm going to tell you what it costs. That's a pretty good relationship. The second question uh, relative to transparency is through what mechanism do they pay you? So if there is somebody else that pays you, is it based upon a profit standard that they pay you, a, a volume standard that they pay you? So I want to understand the mechanism. True transparency uh, represents a client's ability to understand what you do in your business, how you do it, uh, and the relationship that you have with your client. The third aspect of transparency, frankly, completes the picture and completes the definition, which is exactly how much do they pay you. So just suggesting that there's a second master, uh, suggesting that there's a mechanism where I make additional monies is not enough. You are not truly transparent unless you are specific about exactly 
what the dollars are that are associated with these other revenue streams. In a lot of cases, transparency is like I told you. Now, now I'm off the hook. You're court. Uh, I, you know, and, and that's what this whole transparency thing's got to go beyond. And by the way, just because you're transparent, does that mean it's okay to do these things? Especially when, in a lot of cases, education hasn't been part of the discussion. What we want to see going forward is buyers becoming more active and completely understanding how contingents work. ClientsBeforeContingents.com is all about that. It's about educating the buyer, information in here that explains to you exactly how contingents work, a white paper that explains the ins and outs and the history of contingent income, and a place where those who are very passionate about it, as we are, can actually put their name down and take a position right beside us in terms of stating that these things are wrong and we need to create an industry where contingents don't exist. And by coming to this site and putting your name in this site, you are joining an army of people who are taking the same position and hopefully together we can actually make a lot of great progress in terms of eliminating contingents from this industry. I'd like to see an insurance industry uh, that's totally transparent uh, where uh, people uh, understand that this business is not about buying insurance, it's about protecting your company, protecting your person, protecting your community. We have a responsibility to do it honestly, fairly, transparently, because without insurance there is no community, and without communities no insurance. So I think we have a responsibility to do the right thing.